We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Uh, th thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working, folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Hello, wanderers, and welcome to King's Quest. Amber, that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum 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 one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Ooh. Whisper can do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Watch your step, kid. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Graham, the pleasure's mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. Crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies, which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been in... Interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the Queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Caution, bees and distress. So, how did you find an eye? There's a hideous beast lurking inside. Ouch! Rude! How could I lure that hideous beast out? Shame. And these could have been carved into really nice jack-o'-lanterns. Thus, everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once great man, and he left me with a daventry to grow into the kingdom it is today.
Oh, how precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrel. Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! Ugh. These dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches! I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor, my bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. Anyway, take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. How much for that twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. What can I get you? Do you have any idea where I can hunt down an eye of a hideous beast? What a glorious day for a tournament. My favorite time of year. Fire ride new recruits, the clanks and clinks of armor clashing, and the action the very finest. One hopeful always rises to the occasion. I love it all. Some people in town, they complain about the barbaric events, but it's a tradition I'm proud to be a part of. If I was competing, I'd go after the biggest, scariest beast I could find, even if it meant certain death. As they say, fortune favors the bold, and I see braveness in those eyes. It may be time for a new apprentice. So, I've been meaning to ask, what is that amazing blade for? Is it for battling vicious werebears? How many ice orcs has it slain? Does it deal justice? Is it road legal? Is it made of fear? Oh, that? No, no, that's for gardening. I use it to trim my hedges. Seeing as my place is all tended to, and my petunias are most lovely, I'm willing to part with it for the price of one shiny gold coin. I'm sure you've got a prickly situation that needs attending. How much for that gardening tool? One shiny gold coin. Bye. Forget what those other guys say. A sword is mightier than a pen. Oh. Don't touch that, Graham, or you might be the one losing an eye. Did you do it? Did you spend your only gold coin on the epic weed whacker? No, I decided I wasn't ready to jump head first into this problem just yet.
much for that candle. Our everlasting blue flame lantern? The housing's broken. Someone brought it in for repair but never paid. Tell you what, if you bring us something we can hollow out to house the candle, you can have it for the price of one shiny gold coin. Do you have any eyes of hideous beasts in stock? An eye, you say? Yes, yes. Uh, your name, please? Uh, it's Graham. Last name? Graham. Graham, Graham, with a G, I assume. Hmm. I don't see your name on this list. Well, you did pre-order, right? Uh, pre-order? Oh, yes, this time of year our eyes fly off the shelves. If you haven't pre-ordered, you're out of luck. Our eyes are completely on back order. If you'd like, we can put you on the waiting list for our next shipment. When will that arrive? We get shipments every eight months. I'm afraid that won't work. Well, hang on a sec. It's Graham, right? May we bend your ear for a bit? Bend away. You need an eye for the tournament, I'm guessing. Yes, I have always dreamed of becoming a knight. Why? With Daventry's addendums this and proclamations that, it seems a frightful business. Do you have any idea how many royal guards we lose to that voracious moat monster? Well, my father was a knight, and my grandfather was a knight, and my great-grandfather... Well, he was a dentist, but his father was a knight. Basically, I come from a long line of protecting crowns. I started looking for knight jobs while I was still in the academy, but once I graduated, all the opportunities had dried up. I might not fit in here, but Daventry's my last shot. Oh, you'll fit in just fine. It might be too late to capture the rule-defined eye of a hideous beast. That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no courier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He seems to be a bold soul, primed to take Devitry head on. However, he is one who needs to think a little more before he acts if he's going to defeat the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we're just very old and very judgmental people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yep, there was no future in it. Well, we've shifted our core business to potions, curiosities, and the occasional practical joke. <laughs> we gladly share our wisdom for free, but everything else starts at one shiny gold coin. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you see. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pot. It looked like some type of broken lantern. Oh, what are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kinda like a smoke bomb, but they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are expired, though, so they're just for display. The town square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? I returned to the empty town. This was the best place to try finding a big, round wheel for the merchant. I wished I had some marshmallows. I wished I had some marshmallows. Bakery, and it smelled delicious. Delectable goods looking.
Tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Ah, I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> I have nothing to say. You'll warm up to it. Hello, can I squeeze by you gents? No. We are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. Like a blacksmith shop of swords. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. I borrowed enough for the day. And then you scooped up all the weapons, right? Right? No, Gwendolyn, I didn't. I was looking for a wheel, not a fight. I borrowed enough for the day. Shame. The only two left seem to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Just a little oop here, a little elbow grease there, and that snaps it! Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh. Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible.
Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. The faster you find me something big and round, the faster I can get back to my deliveries! Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoops this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharged. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy, so do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Now, let's Vamanusi from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah! Heal! Halt! Oh, abyss! Stop! Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. Ahem. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance, of a life or death nature. I stand corrected, and we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to <laughs> Stay back. Very important protection duties in process.
Stay off those rocks. It's dangerous. Distress! Abandoned post! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh. Not good. Another horn and another missing piece. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. <laughs> this looks like a problem for my assistant. I wasn't going to toot that horn anymore until I found the missing piece. The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. 
They get a tad annoying. Huh? I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. It gets a tad annoying. Huh? Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I can really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend... What's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. We put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. 
That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Well, I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Edges of my fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and- Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bull horns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Sir Ver of Arrows? <laughs> That's funny, but you're not going to pass your chivalry test if you don't know anyone's name. Get to know thine enemies, Graham. Then we can chat strategy. Exposing their weaknesses will be the only way to win. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Hello. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. So, where do you hail from? Ajaka. I see. Sounds exotic. Jeez. <laughs> what you need, Gale, is an upgrade. <laughs> like, my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. When we see you.
this. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really? He gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. I'm Graham. Graham Cr no, no last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Seriously, what are you hiding? What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. What was your name again, Sir... Walrus? Uh, it's Acorn. Get it right or pay the price. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go! Whisper can do it! Let's do it! Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny! We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay, moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. III of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, 
because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh, over here! Over here, I got mine right here! And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry, but we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. 